Hello and welcome. We have always been in a fix when someone asks us to ask a question back to them. And imagine if this is as difficult in a common situation, it gets increasingly difficult when you are facing an interview and an interview ask you this question. Now, there is a question before this question comes and that is whether we should be asking a question to an interviewer or not. But this is an opportunity which should not let this go waste. How to encash this opportunity and convert into a best situation of our interview? Let's take a close look at. So at the end of your interview, you will be given the opportunity to ask one question. At this point, you are assessing the interviewer as much as they are assessing you. Some candidates have the impression that asking a direct question will make them appear impertinent. That's unlikely. What's more likely is that the interviewer will question your interest in the role if you have no questions to ask when prompted. Try not to ask more than three questions in case if you are given that kind of a liberty, though unless you really are lacking crucial information. Sound genuine, otherwise it goes as waste. Also aim for questions that are less obvious and related to aspects of the position and company in which you have the most interest. Don't go on and on and there are probably other candidates still waiting outside waiting for their turn to be interviewed. Also try to ask your question while still seated. If you ask them as you get up or shown out, it could come across as a sign of nervousness or lack of confidence. Prepare a list of questions in advance. Have two to three interesting and intelligent questions prepared before the interview to show that you are interested in the job and eager to find out about their culture, workplace, etc. If all your prepared questions are answered during the interview itself and you are unable to think of any more, explain what you had planned to ask and that you have already been given the answers. So this is also one of the way to better handle any question in case if you have genuinely to ask if you have prepared and something which has been asked or answered on the way might as well you know reinforce the shortest time shortest way the crispier and get away with it having questions prepared demonstrates that you were willing to research the company and role plus it allows you to find out in advance how likely you are to fit the position in the organization for example you might come across some negative employee reviews as part of your research which spur you to ask some questions maybe direct in nature and in the interview to find out their response to that particular criticism one advantage of preparing these questions beforehand and it should be done whether you your interview is by phone video or face to face any nature is that it makes you less likely to be caught off guard by a question in the interview itself and it allows you to ask questions that demonstrates aspects of your personality or skills that you feel weren't drawn out previously. So tips for asking your interviewer question. Here are a few tips. Just take a note. First, take the me out of your questions. What do you mean by this? Avoid questions that revolve around how you stand to benefit from taking that job. Questions about salary, medical cover, flexi time and so forth can be safe for negotiation if an offer comes your way. On the other hand, asking about work culture and daily routines shows that you are thinking about your situation but also thinking about what it might be like to work at that company. Second, avoid questions and obvious answers. The danger with these questions is they can make you look defense and perhaps undo much of your earlier good work. A question like, will you be shortlisting the candidates is far better phrased as, how soon can I expect a call if I am shortlisted? Third, avoid explanations. Please, 
often when you are trying to be polite and politically correct you can end up answering part of your question as you ask it keep your questions concise and specific do not enter into explanations while asking the questions which may come across as rambling or indecisive fourth avoid questions that can be answered with yes or no no close ended question when preparing your questions focus on wh questions what why which when where who etc the wh questions will always require a longer answer hence this is the way you can avoid your close ended question avoid any question that your interviewer can answer abruptly keep that in mind as well common mistakes and questions to avoid knowing which questions to avoid is just as important as knowing which questions to ask you have to keep in mind that a wrong question can immediately compel your interviewer to form a negative opinion about you these questions for example should be ruled out do you mind telling me what the company really does you are expected to know that based on your research do i have to do overtime and will you guys pay me for my extra hours at work how many hours do you expect me to work every day how much will my salary be you should know that from the job specification itself do you have any other shift hours that i can choose later on because you might give you a, a damn reason to it what will my commute be like this is for you to find out how many smoking breaks can i take each day and don't send your interviewer an invite to connect with you on social media please avoid this because this is the easiest trap that you can fall into now useful examples question that can be asked decide on few question that makes sense for the role that you are applying for and ideally highlight your skills and experiences then adapt them to fit into the position that you are applying for use this example as a guide training and development most important questions can come from this particular department so whether you are training driven so you can ask a logical meaningful question what happens during the graduate training scheme sir if i am joining as a fresh graduate any training program for us this shows your interest in what the company is going to offer as part of the training you can also ask will there be opportunities to do external training courses this is upgradation that you are asking so again it shows your interest in the job and further learning the answer will also give a clear indication of the scope for development opportunities while working for the company another way you can ask is can i shadow an employee or get a mentor those keen to learn fast will want to do this graduate training programs aim to be comprehensive but an individual coach will give you greater insight into that career asking this sends strong signals to the interviewer that you are a team player since if you are ready to accept someone as your mentor you are ready to learn from others company culture now what is the turnover of graduates in in this particular company so understanding how long the average graduate stays gives you a pretty good indication as to how long you might stay plus how your interviewer answers this question gives you some idea to the company's honesty and transparency how would you describe the working culture in this company now you are seeking to understand if you are if you will fit within the workplace and enjoy working there might as well ask does the company organize social events a good company cares about the health and camaraderie of its employees and thinks about activities outside of work what is your personal experience of working for this company a very personal touch very close to your interviewer and as the interviewer answers this question try to focus on the factors that they stress while describing their experience supportive staff friendly management opportunities for growth etc are attractive aspects of this particular question now what are the biggest challenges being faced by the company nice question to ask you are just looking for a truthful answer here one that will help you decide whether or not you should say yes to the offer now interview performance do you think i am someone who would fit into this company nicest way to answer you know ask such a question this is a pretty straightforward question but you can never predict the results of your interview right then and there however it does send a good impression to your interviewer that you are interested in getting this particular job 
from what you have seen today is there anything you think i could have improved upon or any reason why you think i'm not suitable for this particular role again a very intuitive question very impulsive one and maybe more introspective it is another straightforward question and it would be perfect if the interviewer is ready to give you some kind of a feedback there you may get a chance to ease their mind on an area where they are unsure about you what qualities do you think would help me excel in this particular position asking this question will show the interviewer your interest and may give you clues as to how to outperform in the role if you are offered it is there anything more that you would want me to clarify about my experience qualification or personality a very subtle question to ask sometimes interviewers are confused about qualification experience or previous answers but forget to look for clarification this question represents a chance to remove that particular confusion qualities responsibilities and expectations for the role clarify can you explain the daily responsibility of this role they often mention the daily responsibilities and the job advertisement but hearing from someone who works at the company can help you discover those responsibilities in more detail what expectations do you have from someone in this role in the first 3 months good question to ask knowing what your employer expects from you will help you have a more focused strategy at the job it will show which areas you need to improve the fastest what specific challenges are associated with the role this is one of the best questions you can ask about the role once you know the major challenges you can create a plan to work on those once you begin the job what one piece of advice would you give to someone who is about to start this particular role this is your chance to get the best and most practical advice in advance their answer might even clarify what not to do should you get this position what factors and metrics will you use to measure my success in this role it isn't uncommon for employees to try to impress their employers with things that don't matter much an answer to this question will clarify the metrics that you should pay attention to for getting noticed appreciated and promoted final thoughts it is imperative to keep in mind when you go for an interview that it's not just the employer evaluating the employee but also vice versa an employee to employer relationship will not work if the employee doesn't feel they fit or if the employer doesn't believe the employee is a good candidate asking your interviewer questions at the end also has a psychological impact interviewers often speak to dozens of candidates and it can be difficult to remember individuals an insightful question or two at the end of the interview may leave a lasting impression as well as suggest that you are keen to get hired so keep this in mind and always remember the first impression and the everlasting has a role to play in all your interviews this time take and make a conscious decision best wishes thank you